Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're going to talk about the Dallas Cowboys offensive line. This is serious. Cab mode time, baby. You know how we do it up in this bed. All right, so. Um, so a lot of the conversation throughout this past season that just finished was, you know, the offensive line, have they been riding the coattails of previous successes from uh, 2016, 2014, that sort of thing, all right? So I think in 2014, this offensive line was probably at its peak. A couple of changes here and there, 2016. And here we are at, uh, you know, 20, I would say even in 2017, that left card position, Ronald Leary left. And then they, you know, they, were, they tried to roll some cheap stuff there and went with Jonathan Cooper, Chaz Green. Some of those experiments, you know, just were not good. So they drafted Connor Williams, you know, to, you know, to be, you know, that uh, presumably that left guard to to finally put an end to the search. All right. So that left guard position, like I said, has been uh, one position that they've been trying to, to fill with a permanent position for a very long time. Now. How do they fix this, all right? Does it need fixing? Now, how do you guys feel about the offensive line as it stands right now, all right? I'm gonna give you four possible lineups that could, you know, maybe get this offensive line back on track, all right? Now, take a look at this. First scenario here, the first lineup, all right? This is more of your traditional one. Tyron Smith is your left tackle. Connor Williams, your left guard. Travis Frederick comes back as your center. Zach Martin and Lyle Collins. So Zach Martin, the reports are he's going to take uh, part in all the off-season activities, OTAs, and uh, things. His body's starting to respond really good. So these scenarios I'm giving you are with the um, the presumption that the Travis Frederick will be there as your center. So that that first lineup there is more of your traditional lineup. What would may have been you know this year's lineup if we would have had Frederick healthy. So. Smith, Connor Williams, Frederick, Zach Martin, and Lyle Collins, all right? Now, um, the second lineup is gonna go over what some fans have, have wanted for a long time, and that's to move Lyle Collins back to guard, all right? So if you look at this, in this scenario, Tyron Smith, left tackle, Lyle Collins moves over to left guard, Frederick at center, Martin at right guard, and they kick out Connor Williams to right tackle, all right? So, Connor Williams, um, at Texas played primarily as a left tackle. So he does have tackle experience um, Got some recognition there playing tackle now the now the only thing about Connor Williams I would say are the the length of the arms You know, they're not your prototypical uh, Length that you want in your uh, your tackle, you know, I think he's got 33 inch arms uh, some of these other guys go anywhere from 33 to 35 and up so but he has he has had success there. So in that scenario, you do move Lyle Collins to his more natural position, I believe. I strongly believe that Lyle Collins is a better guy inside uh, your true uh, grinder. You know, gets in there and mauls people and pushes them out of the way and makes lanes, you know, for, for Ezekiel Elliott. So um, that's a possible lineup, all right? Take a look at this third possible reshuffle. Connor Williams, all right? They move him over to left tackle. Lyle Collins, they shuffle him over to left guard. Travis Frederick and Zach Martin remain in place. And Tyron Smith gets the Doug Free treatment. And what I mean by that is, Doug Free, when he came with the Cowboys, he was your left tackle for a couple years. And then, you know, his skill set and that kind of thing started to diminish. They moved him over to right tackle. I almost feel that with uh, Tyron Smith and some of the issues that he has, staying healthy, uh, the stingers and um, and that kind of thing, I feel like he might be better suited moving over to right tackle, you know, uh, at this uh, second phase of his career. Um, still young, obviously, he's still in his 20s, but he's put in a lot of time for the Cowboys. You know, they drafted him, I think he was like 20 years old, and... Um, and, you know, they're, 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 they're wasting Tyron Smith's talents. They need to get it going here because they, they've had him here for a while. That was Jason Garrett's first draft pick, all right, when he became full-time head coach was Tyron Smith. So Connor Williams, again, you know, tackle. You move him over there, 
I think there's a lot more athletic there. He's got more speed to be a tackle. Again, the only thing there is the arm length. How would he do against some of these other guys? I think he would do good with the speed rush. Something Tyron Smith has kind of struggled a little bit with here over the last two seasons, especially this season. We saw him struggle with a lot of speed rushers. He's still handling the power very well. But the speed rushers, I think uh, that stiff back is robbing him of some of his mobility. All right. Now, this fourth lineup is an interesting one. Take a look at this. So in this scenario, you have Cameron Fleming. They re-sign him to, uh, you know, maybe a two-year deal or whatever. They extend him because he will be an unrestricted free agent. Connor Williams, they keep him there at left guard. He bulks up. And... Uh, and I, I really do think that Connor Woods will bulk up uh, during the offseason with the, you know, the NFL program training and all that, that kind of thing. I think he will bulk up. He needs to get up into the 320 range. A lot of the Cowboys linemen are hover around that 320. I think that's a sweet spot. So he needs to gain about 20 to 25 pounds to to reach that threshold. And I think he'll be in business there. Right? He'll be a lot more stout. So left guard there, Connor Williams, center, you know, Frederick and then Zach Martin. Laocon stays there at, uh, at right tackle. All right, so a little bit here history on Laocon. He, he recently signed a three-year extension, um, which will end after this season. So 2020, he will be a free agent. So, you know, does he get another contract extension this year or sometime this year? So there's a lot to think about. Now, in this, in this lineup here, we're trading Tyron Smith, all right? And you're getting, you're acquiring a first round pick. All right. Some will say that he's not worth the first round pick. I would argue that that uh, he is. You know, he you could still get a first round pick, but this is probably the very last year that you could pull off getting a first round pick. You know, there are some cap implications as well, but the Cowboys have enough there to to make these kinds of moves and, and still sign the guys that they want, and then you get your first round pick. All right. Um, somebody would give a first round pick. Yeah, okay. Recently, you know, the Texans traded Dwayne Brown to the Seahawks. They got a second round pick for him and a fifth round pick um, and a player. So that's Dwayne Brown. I never really thought he was that good of a tackle, but the Seahawks gave, gave some picks for him. All right. And he was like 30 at the time. Tyron Smith. Um, still has some age to him. I think he'll be right there at 29 years old when, when the season, you know, gets underway. So first round pick, you can get it. You know, continue revamping and, and getting young there again. So Cameron Fleming, I think he was serviceable. I think he did good. I really didn't see that much of a fall off whenever he came in to cover for Tyron Smith. Um... And he, he has Super Bowl experience, obviously, with the Patriots. Um, I do like Fleming more at a right tackle, but he can play that swing position. That's why they signed him. So in that in this lineup here, you know, you're, you are getting your, your first round pick uh, by moving the player. And, you're, you know, you're back in business. You got, you got another first round pick, and then you got the rest of your draft to, to do some things. All right. So these are four scenarios. All right. Um, which of these do you think is the most likely that the Cowboys will go with? You think it's you think it's lineup one, lineup two, lineup three, lineup four, or do you think there's another one out there that that could happen? Let me know what you guys think. What do you think the Cowboys need to do to to get this offensive line back on track, or is it mainly just about getting Frederick back and bulking up Connor Williams? Is it that simple? All right, is it that simple? Or do they need to do some reshuffling like these other lineup examples, right? Let me know what you guys think. I'm really interested to, to hear your opinion on this, on what the Cowboys need to do with this offensive line. Um, and that sort of thing, guys. I mean, th we're, we're jumping right into it, all right? We're jumping right into these conversations. Deep, deep dive on this lineup, right? Because that offensive line needs to get back to the elite level that, that we're so accustomed to. They were average, all right? They were average. They they weren't, uh, they're not at the level of a lot of these other, you know, offensive lines that you saw in the playoffs. Um, you look at some of these these offensive lines, and you're like, okay, these guys are moving people, all right? These guys are moving people. Um, Cowboys need to get back to that, all right? Especially with Ezekiel Elliott, 
you know you want to uh, to really utilize his skill set with an elite you know uh, offensive line that'll open up a lot of things for this offense but let me know what you guys think continue to like like this video it helps out the channel a whole bunch so hit that like let's try to get this to about two to three hundred likes and subscribe any lurkers out there hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification button so you can uh, you know be notified when a new video comes out and you'll be you know the first in the know all right that's all i have right now guys see you for the next video peace